Artworks is the first Canadian visual arts textbook available in over two decades. We decided to publish the project because it's consistent with our strategy of publishing for underserved areas of the curriculum, because it targets a potentially lucrative category that's not been served with Canadian products since Prentice Hall in the 1980s, and because of a new and significantly changed Ontario arts curriculum. Over the last number of years, arts teachers have been making do with U.S. import titles like Art Talk and Art and Focus from Glencoe, assorted trade books and their own personal notes. Artworks offers a new approach and a new style of presentation that's different from anything else they may already have on their shelf. Our teachers need to know how to make connections and help students make connections between things that you wouldn't think would go together. For example, uh, what do cave paintings, graffiti, and holograms have in common? Teachers ask themselves, how do they teach a subject area that's constantly changing? How can they be an expert when there's so many new ideas and new technologies and new media? And how can they measure the creative process and teach what used to be called art history? These are the big problems right now for art teachers and the new curriculum really creates pressure on having to change the way art teachers teach those ideas. Keeping with art education trends, Artworks breaks from the traditional chronological presentation of specific art styles. Instead, it focuses on issues, ideas, and themes. Students are encouraged to uncover trends and patterns in art, to understand connections, causes, and effects in art, and to learn to recognize the factors that maintain or change the world of art. In terms of presentation, it became clear very early on that this project would not lend itself well to a traditional textbook format. Our programs are not lecture or reading-based programs. A traditional 30-page narrative chapter doesn't have a great deal of utility in the arts. Instead, we organize the book into 26 discrete topics that don't necessarily need to be used in a sequential way. Teachers and students can dip in and out of topics as necessary. Topics are relatively short in length. The average topic is 8 to 12 pages and can be easily read in class so that students can quickly acquire background knowledge before moving to the studio work that is the principal goal of every art program. Each of the topics are short and they're based on one an important idea. So the topics are linked to the new curriculum and they're presented at the grade 9 and 10 student level. They're short, they include key ideas, they've got engaging visuals, and there's lots of use of something called juxtaposition, which is putting ideas, images side by side so that uh, students can look at um, at artwork from different time periods and see what their relationship is to each other. You know, in the past, in textbooks, we used to show one image and talking about it. This textbook shows two and sometimes multiple images to try to get people to see how ideas can work together or be presented in different ways but still the same ideas or they can be the same techniques presented in very different ways. Important to note that each topic has a three-stage presentation. The first few pages serve as a general introduction to the topic concept. They are followed by a feature entitled Reflecting, Reading and Analyzing that prompts students to analyze professional or student work in light of what they've just read. The topic then ends with something called Creating and Presenting that walks students through a project that applies the topic concept. Finally, topics are complemented by colorful, well-reproduced images of both professional and student artwork. Special emphasis is given to artwork by Canadian and contemporary artists. Now, there's a couple of chapters, topics in the textbook that are particularly engaging both for teachers and students. There's a, a topic about the future and careers in art, and this is something new in an art textbook for students because it uses the voices of four people who are currently very actively engaged in very different ways in the uh, visual arts. There's another chapter that deals with legal issues. Again, something very interesting to find in an art textbook. Because we're living in a culture where there's uh, a lot of regulation around uh, copyright, this topic deals with what people need to think about if they're producing art but they're using images used in other artists or in advertisements or anywhere they might, uh, any source they might find on the internet. It, and teenagers love to think about limits and breaking limits. So this topic is, um, uses that same idea of what the limits are, how artists have break, broken the limits, what an artist can get away with, and what an artist needs to think about when they're thinking about breaking the rules, so to speak.